What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with a somewhat of a PSA I guess. So tonight at Reset, global players can expect to see a banner very similar to the one on the screen right now drop in the game. And I know it's going to be super, super tempting to summon on this banner because just look at it man, it's got so much fire. Full power super is saying for Goku's on there, LR Gogeta, LR Vegito, Int Gogeta, Physical Super Vegito. Like these units are awesome. Everybody should be summoning on this banner, right? No! No, nobody should be summoning on this banner. I implore all of you to please save your stones for the upcoming Broly movie celebration and Christmas celebration and so on and so forth. I mean it when I say that this is probably the biggest trap banner we've ever seen in Dokkan. This is the king of trap banners. And of course, there's always going to be people out there who pull the LR Gogeta like first multi or first single. But trust me when I say that most people who summon on this banner will regret it and you know what i'll explain myself in just a second but let me be clear that of course i can't tell you guys what to do you guys can do whatever the f you want with your stone so if you really really want to summon for lr gogeta or lr vegito this is your first opportunity since the three year anniversary it's the first time they've come back to global but it's i don't know guys i just don't think it's worth it i care about you guys you know i care and i want you guys to spend your stones wisely and not regret your spending decision so that's why i'm making this video but at the end of the day the decision is ultimately up to you so like i said you can do whatever you want but if you're not going to watch any anything beyond this point in the video just remember that i told you to please not summon on this banner it is a huge trap banner so let's get into why i say that now so of course, the issue is not with the featured units themselves because like I said, they're awesome. They're some of the best units in this entire game. The issue is the summoning rate, the pull rate for each of these individual units. So let's go down here to the actual featured pool. And first thing, right off the bat, you can see that there are a lot of featured SSRs on this banner. So that's never a good sign when you want to pull for a specific unit because the more SSRs there are that are featured, the less likely you're actually gonna pull one of or the specific unit that you want right so let's say you're going for lr gogeta but there's you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve twelve featured units then your rates your chances of pulling that specific lr gogeta are going to be much lower so of course like i said 12 featured ssrs which is significantly more than your average dokkan fest but i mean it's not a huge deal right because a lot of them are really good lr gogeta lr vegito physical super vegito is still one of the hardest hitting tur's in this entire game this guy's very underrated he's very underrated i think they're both great and gogeta is still one of the best units in the game as well like he's awesome and of course this brand new um super full power super saiyan 4 goku or super full power saiyan 4 goku Stupid name, hope Bandai changes that. But anyways, <laughs> that's besides the point. Great units in the featured pool, right? But if you go up here, this is where the issue comes up. Feature rate is 3%, guys. 3% chance to pull a featured unit. If you aren't aware, the average for every other banner up to this point has been 5%. So already 2% lower with more SSR. So that doesn't sound good, does it? So we're going to go to our calculator now. Pull it out real quick. Do 3 divided by 12 featured SSRs, which gives us a total of 0.25%, 0.25% chance to pull each specific SSR. If you're not really aware of like the average rates in this game, you might be like, I don't know, like 0.25%, is that bad? Is that good? I don't really know. It is absolutely atrocious, guys. It is a really, really bad summoning rate. And you know what? Just to prove it, we're gonna, we're gonna move on to another banner. So keep that in mind, keep that 0.25% in your mind. Don't forget it. And we're gonna jump over to this full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku banner that we just got on Global. Very solid banner. One of, like I already said, probably one of the better banners we've seen recently. And there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven featured SSRs. A lot of them are really good. Omega Shenron's awesome. Um, he's amazing, of course. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, no brainer, and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, great. And these three, um, the Goku, the Cell, and the Frieza are also really good. So, great banner overall, right? And the feature rate is 5%. So, let's pull out a calculator again. We're going to do 5% divided by 7 featured SSRs, 0.714%. 0.714%. So, you basically have a three times as high chance of pulling a featured SSR on this Dokkan Fest banner versus that Tana Bata banner or it's going to be called the Thank You Celebration banner for us global players. Doesn't really matter what the name is. I'm just going to call it the Ultimate Trap banner. And for those of you who spent a lot of stones and got shafted on this banner, I'm just telling you, you, have, you, had, you had three times as much of a likelihood of pulling him on this banner than you have of pulling LR Gogeta or LR Vegito 
on the other banner. I mean, each of the specific ones. Of course, if you combine them, it's like a 0.5% chance. So if you want either or, it's slightly better, but still not as good as this banner or every other Dokkan Fest banner up to this point, right? So if you're still not convinced, still not convinced, let's jump over to another banner. This is the Ella, Goku, and Frieza um, legendary summon banner that both JP and Global got a little while back. And of course, you know, it's it's well known that legendary summon banners don't necessarily have the best rates for pulling the specific featured LR. I mean, it's the best rates you're ever gonna get for that specific LR, but it's still not great. And people have spent like thousands of stones on these banners to not pull that featured LR, right? So let's go down here. Featured SSR pool, not too terrible. I mean, it's really one of the better legendary summon banners we've ever seen. It has 12 featured SSRs just like that Thank You Celebration or Tana Banner banner, right? So 12 featured SSRs, but a normal 5% featured rate. So, gonna do the math here. Five divided by 12, that is, oh, I just did multiplication, my bad. Divided by 12.416%. So you still have a much better chance on this banner to pull LR Goku and Frieza than to pull LR Gogeta specifically or LR Vegito specifically if you're going for a 1 or any other specific unit you're going for on that banner, Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku or Int Gogeta or whatever you want on that banner, still have a much lower chance on that banner of pulling one of those than LR Goku and Frieza was on this banner. And guys, if you guys have followed my journey, it took me... No, I spent over a thousand stones on that banner, on this banner, when I'm, ta I'm talking about this banner right now, the LR Goku and Frieza banner, and I didn't pull LR Goku and Frieza, over a thousand stones, and I had a much better chance of pulling him on this banner than Gogeta and LR Vegito on the Thank You Celebration banner, so, I mean, <laughs> what else is there to say, man, what else is there to say, like, this banner is a no-go, in my opinion, is a no-go, do not summon on it, it is, it is a trap banner, guys, the rates are just atrocious, they are so, so bad, if it had a regular 5% feature rate, I might feel okay about recommending for people to summon on it, but the way it is right now, unless they make some major changes on global, because right now, as, as far as I know, I'm assuming that's going to stay the same, same featured rate, same units, etc., um, I heard that they actually might get tickets for it, but even with tickets, man, I still don't really think it's worth it because the rates are just so bad. So, so bad. That's all I gotta say, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this whole situation. What do you think about the banner? Whether or not you're gonna fall for the trap and go summon anyways. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say. If you guys are summoning, if you're gonna not heed your boy Tiger's advice and summon on it anyways, then I wish you the best of luck. I hope you are one of those lucky people that manages to pull one of these main guys that you want full power or LR Gogeta or LR Vegeta or whatever but otherwise everyone else please stay away don't touch this banner it's not it's not worth it guys it's really not worth it we got so much fire coming along the way like in, in the next like month right in the next month for Christmas and New Year's Broly movie and Christmas like you don't want to you don't want to be low on stones when those things come, so save them. Save them. Don't summon this banner. That's all I got to say. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you're going to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.